Okay, in this tip of the day video, we are going to look into building a low battery alarm for 3.3 volt projects. Now I made a video where you could power your 3.3 volt projects using this lithium iron phosphate cell, which has an output of 3.3 volts so you could hook it up directly to your microcontroller project. In this case I'm using an Atmega 328P microcontroller in bare bone circuitry so there's no components. And I have code running that's blinking this LED. Now to charge this battery, the maximum charge voltage is 3.6 volts and when you take it out of the charger it's going to drop down to around 3.3 volts which could power your circuitry. And if you look at the discharge curve, it goes along for 3.3 volts and then, and then eventually it's going to start dropping and I want to have it trigger at 2.8 volts. And when it comes down to 2.8 volts, that's my low battery alarm, this LED will come on indicating it's low battery alarm and that will send a signal to the microcontroller for a low battery alarm. So next I'll take the battery out of the holder, I'll hook up a power supply and we can test it. We take the voltage down until the LED comes on indicating a low battery alarm which is fed into the microcontroller. Okay I removed my lithium iron phosphate battery and replaced it with a variable power supply at 3.3 volts. So I'll slowly take it down and we'll see the low battery alarm LED come on and then the flashing rate on the microcontroller LED will, will speed up indicating that it sensed the low battery alarm. So I'll slowly take down the voltage. Now the lithium iron phosphate batteries, the lowest it should go is 2.5 volts that's totally discharged but I don't like going that low. So around 2.8 volts it should cut off and we should see the low battery alarm LED come on. So I'll slowly turn it down. And there you can see, at 2.8 volts, the low battery alarm LEDs come on and the flashing rate on the microcontroller has sped up so it sensed the low battery alarm. Okay, so how do we build a very simple low battery alarm? Now there's many ways to do it. We could use the ADC of the microcontroller, but there's one problem. The battery voltage is fed to the VREF on the microcontroller, so as the battery voltage drops, so will the VREF and it will indicate a fully charged battery all the time. Now we could go and we could use the band gap voltage of 1.1 volts but it drifts with temperature and it's device dependent so each microcontroller has a different voltage from 1 volt to about 1.2 volts but you could calibrate it so you'd have to calibrate the code for each microcontroller which is kind of a hassle but it, it can be done or you could get an external VREF supply like a MCP1501 but there's no dip version so it's not uh, breadboard compatible and they're pretty expensive. So what I've done, I've gone to this component here. It's a one component solution. This is a DS1233A. It's a 3.3 volt Econo reset. Now back in the days of microprocessors, the reset circuitries weren't very good. So Della Semiconductors came up with this chip. So it will reset the microcontroller or microprocessor if the voltage drops down to 2.88 volts, which you can see in the chart. So I've hooked it up to the microcontroller, so if it senses the voltage dropping down to 2.88 volts, uh, it will drop a pin low on the, one of the GPIO pins, indicating a low battery alarm. Okay, the DS1233A-10, which is the 3.3 volt Econo reset, is an open collector output, which pulls down one of the GPIO pins of the microcontroller when the voltage drops below 2.88 volts which is a low battery alarm. Now I could simulate that with this wire. So I'm grounding one of the GPIO pin inputs. So if I ground it, you can see the LED comes on indicating a low battery alarm and then my flash rate increases. I remove it, goes back to a slow flash. So the input into the microcontroller could be an interrupt or you could pull it and you could set off a beeper or you could shut down the system or if you have a lower radio, you could send out a message saying my battery is low, come and change me. So that's my tip of the day, how to build a simple low battery alarm using a 3.3 volt Econo Reset chip.